Yeah, um, welcome back. Yeah, in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create our database management system form. In our previous tutorial, we talked of how to create our database management system table, which we have already done. So in this tutorial, we're going to create the form in which we're going to enter the information and then save it in the table. But before we do that, uh, let me quickly bring you up to speed on something I skipped in my previous um, tutorial. Uh, let's look at something in here. It's about uh, the destination of our files. After giving your file a name, maybe let's say GH, don't forget to, to choose the destination of your file. So where you, where you want the file to be after saving it, you might want it to be on the desktop, in the downloads folder, in the document folder, in the database folder, or in the folder you have created on your desktop or wherever you want it to be. But I would will, will prefer you taking desktop so that you can quickly or easily locate it after saving it. So that is that. Let me just cancel this. Let me proceed with what we are in here for. So we're going to continue with where we stopped in our previous lesson. So in here, we are done creating our database management system table. So the next thing we're going to do is to create our form. So let's quickly go into that. So to start creating our form, come to create, then come to form design. So the, 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 the form is now open for us to begin displaying our various fields. So I can, let's say, adjust it a bit here. So now to add our fields that we've created in our table, just come to add existing fields. You've already created it. So just click on this. So they are already in here. Let me just show you something. Sometimes when it opens, you won't see it this way. You might see it in a different format. Let's see. Good. So if it's displayed like this, let me try checking something here. Oh, gosh. Great. Form design, adjust it, come to existing fields, good. When you click on this, now you have the various existing fields displayed. So in order to have them in here, what you just have to do is to double click on each and every field here. The moment you double click, it displays here. So let's quickly do that. It's there. What I'm just doing is double clicking and everything is being displayed in our form. Good. Now, we are done displaying them in our form. The next thing for us to do is we can close this and then readjust this a bit. Now, the next thing for us to do is just to um, adjust it to suit our um, design or our preference or how we want it to be. So, let's quickly look at that. So, we can drag this and then leave it in here. So, we can quickly drag this one to down a bit so that we can have enough space to move them wherever we want them to be. Now, let's quickly look at something. Now, what we have at the left side here are the labels for the following fields. These are the labels and these are the fields. This is where we're going to type whatever we want to type. And this is what is telling us what to type in here. So this is a label and this is a field. Good. The same thing applies here. We have the labels and then the field. Now, let's say you would like to move the label away from the field. Please take note of this. It's very important. Uh, what you need to do is just to click on the, 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 the particular label and then you drag it alone. Just click this side of it, please. Take note of it, this side of it. Then you move it to wherever you want it to be. But if you fail to do that and you click wherever you, 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 you want and drag it, it will go together with the, the field. So you see it. You see that it's moving together with the field. So you want the label to be somewhere and the field another place. So what you have to do is just to click in here. Then you can drag it. Then you adjust. You leave it here. So you are done with that. So we're going to adjust it and then give it um, a bigger size so that we can, our image can be a bit bigger. Hey, shit, this is too big. So with the design we saw in the video, we would like to follow the same thing. So I think this has to come down here. Yep. So now here the field is yours, <laughs> please. You can adjust it just to suit what we saw in the video, okay? Yeah, 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 you can do that. This is very simple. So I think yet we can adjust it a bit.
So I think, um, good. Let's see something here. Yeah, um, we are okay. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. So what I'm just doing, please, you, you can see, it's up to you to do the same thing, to have them wherever you want them to be. You just have to, please, we would like this to be straight as this. So you see, this is a bit lower. No, this should rather come down. Yeah, so that it will be the same in height as this. It's very important. It will make our design look stunning. Yep. Yeah. Oh, please. This is chopping time. It's consuming time. Sorry for that, please. I think it's okay. Yeah, let me. I just want it to be look nice. And then in order. So I think in order for us to have space here for our buttons, we can move it here closer to this. We can easily move this one too closer to this. So now we need to give it a name, the form, a name. So to do that, let's just try closing it. Yeah, we'll be prompted to give it a name. So we can say student data. So, okay. So we are done. To view it, just double click and then you see it displayed in here like this. So I think this is how we want it to be. So for now, I'm going to end this tutorial here. In our next tutorial, we're going to design it, add some um, colors, and then add some features just to make it look brighter than the way it is. Until then, bye-bye.